Minglaba, welcome to Myanmar Today. I'm Henry Zin. Here are the latest news and reports. The first report is on China-Myanmar Belt and Road discussion. The next, we have a Chinese documentary film series, La Majita Do Chi De. That's going to be on air. A story coverage on the 68th anniversary of Gaya State Day. And the last report on the introduction of rotavirus vaccine and pentafor dosage. We'll definitely get to the reports in a while, but before that, let's take a look at some local news. Naga New Year Festival 2020 was held in the town of Lahe in the Naga Self-Administered Zone, Zagain region, on Wednesday. President Wu Min and First Lady Do Cho Cho were present at the event. Chairman Wu Ke Sai of the Naga Self-Administered Zone's leading body handed over a traditional Naga New Year gift to President Wu Min, who handed over... 4,000 rice bags and 3,000 sheets of zinc roofing provided by the union government for the development of Naga self-administered zone in return. It was followed by union ministers, the regional chief minister, Northwest Command commander and officials handing over cash assistance and other items for development of Naga self-administered zone to Ludo representatives, Naga self-administered zone's leading body members and other officials. President Uwe Mien held a meeting with the Union Ministers, Zagai Region Cabinet, Ludo Representatives, Naga Self-Administered Zone's leading body, department officials and local elders, and discussed the need for cooperation in developing the Naga Self-Administered Zone. Chairperson of the Committee for Development of Rural Areas and National Races, State Councillor Don San Suu Kyi, attended the 68th Kaya State Day Ceremony in Loiko on Wednesday and unveiled the archway of the Kaya State Day Ceremony before the 68th anniversary Kaya State Day. Leaders from nine ethnic tribes of Kaya chaired the ceremony. At the luncheon with leaders of ethnic tribes of Gaya, religious leaders and town elders, State Councillor Don San Suu Kyi met with Ubanya of the Gayani Human Rights, Kuthure of the Farmers Union, Kun Thomas of the Youth Union, Karsil Para, a local farmer, Matt Helen of the Gayan Women Asia One, and Kuri Ray of the Gaya Lipu Youth Society. At the meeting, Kuthure requested the state councillor to help settle land confiscation issue and farmers who were sent to prison and are facing for land issues. Kuriray to make arrangements for another negotiation with officials concerned to settle the Bojok bronze statue issue and Kun Thomas to build a youth centre for youth in Kaya State to establish funds and to review the youth affairs policy. State Councillor urged the local authorities to check the cases in detail in efforts to settle the cases and make arrangements to prevent similar cases in the future. The following is an article titled Writing a New Chapter in Our Millennia-Old Pao Friendship from Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China, which was published on Thursday in local newspapers, The Global New Light of Myanmar, Myanmar Lin and Jemon. In the article, President Xi said he, quote, visited this beautiful land, referring to Myanmar, in 2009 and was deeply impressed by its serene landscape, diverse cultures and hardworking people. With the upcoming visit, he said he, quote, look forward to renewing China's Baoport ties with Myanmar and discussing future cooperation. He continued with, quote, Throughout the 70 years of diplomatic ties, China and Myanmar have together championed and put into practice the five principles of peaceful coexistence. He added, quote, In China and Myanmar, people have similar sayings to the effect that more exchanges will bring families and friends closer together. In this 70th anniversary year, China-Myanmar relations stand at a new starting point. The following is an article by an author, Wang Sansan, who is a current affairs commentator with the China media group on Bao Bo, Myanmar and the meaning of friendship. The article states, quote, Many of the Chinese people busily preparing for their spring festival holiday are opting to travel abroad, and Myanmar has been added to the list of popular destinations for the country's globetrotters. The visit to Myanmar by China's President Xi Jinping is on the horizon. This visit is expected to spark interest in more and more Chinese people to explore the beauty and potential of Myanmar during the upcoming Spring Festival holiday and beyond. That's all with the local news and here's the first report on Myanmar today. China-Myanmar Belt and Road discussion organized by China Media Group was held on Wednesday at Wyndham Grand Hotel in Yangon. 
The discussion mainly highlighted the efforts for the establishment of Belt and Road through Media Corporation in Myanmar. David Tanner reports. China-Myanmar Belt and Road Media Talk has been attended by Mr. An Xiaoyu, Director General of Asia and Africa Center of China Media Group, Professor Dr. Anton Tha Mongyo Anshin, Chief Editor of D-Wave Journal, renowned writer Wu Hengle, Wu Yilin, and China-Myanmar intellectuals who participated in the media talks on modern China-Myanmar relations. In the opening speech of Mr. An Xiaoyu, he said, <coughs> that China and Myanmar are working together. Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping is going to visit Myanmar within one or two days. It's the first ever official state visit of Chinese leaders within 19 years. It's of great importance. The news of Chinese president who is going to pay a visit to Myanmar is being expressed on the Chinese media pages. The visit of Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping is hoped to bring China-Myanmar relations to a new level. For that reason, the people from the various fields from China expect that the better result will come out to further strengthen China-Myanmar relations from this visit. With that said, I would also like to present a documentary film jointly directed by China Media Group and the Ministry of Information of Myanmar. The title is March Towards a big road. The documentary film aims for Myanmar citizens to understand Chinese people for how they try to reach a developed country from undeveloped situation. I will conclude my opening speech by saying that I'll be learning the discussion among media professionals. China Media Group organized the media talk in partnership with Skynet. The media talk mainly highlighted the efforts of the establishment of Belt and Road through media cooperation. With that said, I have also interviewed Meng Yuan Anshin for why China as a country and the Belt and Road Initiative is important for Myanmar. China and Belt and Road is, I must say, one of the most essential projects for Myanmar. As China to Myanmar is one of the nearest neighboring countries, we have always been associated and linked each other, whether it may be in the way of geopolitics or geoeconomics. That is why, in my opinion, on the further journey of China-Myanmar friendship and the Belt and Road project, my expectations are really high and it is optimistic. In the event, I have also interviewed the business development officer for New Starlight Construction Company for his perspective as a business expert regarding the Belt and Road project. So uh, as uh, everyone know, might be aware, the Myanmar Mandalay is located in the central region of uh, Myanmar. All the major cities and nearby towns are coming to Mandalay for trade and also for business. So Belt and Road uh, will start from Muse and pass through the Mandalay. So from then they would uh, uh, go to Nebido, uh, Chao Phu or Yango. So it's like a meeting point of the routes in Myanmar. So, uh, you know, as you know, China is a very big country with a very big economy. So we can gain a lot of opportunity uh, by means of trade or if the Myanmar government and the Chinese government uh, will be able to make the right coordination and also the uh, planning of the agreements uh, and execution of their agreements in Myanmar. Professor Dr. Anton Tha also told MI Radio for his opinion on the plan of Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping visiting Myanmar. Mm -hmm. We should note that uh, this is the almost 20 years since the last president uh, has visited Myanmar. Of course, he has, uh, in his capacity as vice president, has been here a, a couple of years ago. Uh, but the fact that he had uh, decided to come to Myanmar in 2020, this is the first overseas trip in this year for, for him and also very close to the uh, Chinese New Year. So we should take uh, every opportunity to, to dialogue with him, uh, to work with him, uh, and uh, to, to build stronger relationships between both the two leaders as well as the two countries. Professor Dr. Anton Tha also stated and explained the detail for why the Belt and Road Initiative is essential for Myanmar and how it might come to be a great profit for China and Myanmar if both of the countries work together thematically. The whole issue of Belt and Road Initiative taken by President Xi, uh, I think essentially it's only one word. Word is connectivity. 
So uh, connectivity either by road, by rail, uh, by uh, sea transport. So what we believe is con connectivity, and I'll be making a presentation, uh, pr connectivity equals prosperity. So if, peop if countries and peoples are connected, there's a more uh, opportunity for countries to to develop. So I think we should take advantage of the relationships we have and uh, especially since the president is visiting us, uh, this this is a once in a lifetime chance. Reporter David Tanner reporting from Myanmar International Radio. That's a report on China-Myanmar Belt and Road discussion. All right, it's time now to check on the weather forecast in Myanmar. It's a sunny day in Yangon. Expect highest temperature of 34 degrees Celsius and the lowest of 16 degrees Celsius. There's plenty of sunshine in Nebido. Expect highest temperature of 32 degrees Celsius and the lowest of 12 degrees Celsius. It's a pleasant weather with sunny conditions in Mandalay. Expect highest temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and the lowest of 12 degrees Celsius. Well, we have another report coming up and then we'll check on the stocks and currency exchange rates. The launch ceremony of Chinese historical record documentary film series called La Majita Do Chi Det was held on Wednesday at Rosewood Hotel. The series will be aired on Skynet Knowledge Channel starting Wednesday. The film created by China Media Group marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Pyo Thiridu and Tora Wimpizon will tell us more. The Chinese historical record documentary film series named Lama Zite Do Chi De will be aired on Skynet Knowledge Channel starting from 15th of January. The film created by the China Media Group marks on the 70th anniversary of founding of the People's Republic of China. The film was dubbed into Myanmar language and also with Myanmar subtitles. The launching ceremony of the series was attended by Dao Da Pei Union Minister for Information, the senior officials from Ministry of Information, and members of Myanmar Motion Picture Organization, the Director General for Asia and Africa Region, China Media Group, Mr. An Xiaoyan, and the responsible persons, as well as Wu Zhongwen, President of Sri Dangwen Media Group. Dao Da Pei Union Minister for Information, said that the Myanmar audience will get the ideas and strength by watching the film series. This is to celebrate the visit of Chinese President Mr. Xi Jinping to Myanmar and it will support the mutual understanding of the two countries. We can learn the history of China, how it has strived to develop and we can also think of more ideas how to help our country develop as well so it will somehow motivate us to learn from already developed country Director General for Asia and Africa Region, China Media Group, Mr. An Xiaoyan, said briefly about the documentary and the message that the film wants to give the audience and the purposes of screening the films in Myanmar. This documentary is produced by China Media Group as special for the 70th anniversary of bilateral relations. This documentary is about the difficulties and challenges China has faced and overcome, for example, poverty alleviation, during the specific time in the past, as well as at present. So I hope Myanmar people will learn more from our experience. We are in collaboration with Shui Danwen Media to air in Myanmar for Myanmar people to understand more about Chinese people. He also said that the films showing the Chinese culture will serve like a bridge between Myanmar people and Chinese people. The film was studied about Chinese President Xi's philosophies on new era Chinese characteristic socialism and it was portrayed how China struggled its long journey to become a double country during 70 years and to give the Myanmar audience these strengths because Myanmar and China have the same nature geographically. 
从摆在上来的时候，是什么没有？那是几乎见到的。那字也只有说这个字，叫前后不齐，要七年的长寿，实际不容易。Gusi Yate, the narrator of The Flamed, said about the difference between Chinese and Myanmar spoken languages and his challenges while telling the stories. <laughs> Some Myanmar and Chinese sentences do not have the same amount of words, which was challenging for us when we did the dubbing. We sometimes have to speak faster to shorten the length, but we are also afraid that the audience will not be able to catch the meaning. So if the sentence in Myanmar is long, we have to use the synonyms for clear information. I had done much practice before starting the actual dubbing. The documentary will be on air at 7 p.m. at Knowledge Channel of Skynet and it is comprised of 24 episodes and one episode will take about 13 minutes. From today, we will be able to watch That's a report on a Chinese documentary film series, La Majite Do Chi Te. Stay with us as we bring you more reports on Myanmar today. Since 1952, Gaya State Day has been celebrated annually and for the 68th anniversary, it was held in Luigo this Wednesday. State Councilor Don San Suu Kyi attended the ceremony and President Wu Min sent a greeting message to welcome the Gaya State. Don As Wizin reports. The ceremony marking the 68th anniversary of Gaya State Day was held at Ganta Rawadi Crowns at Luigo on 15 January. State Councillor of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar Do Aung San Suu Kyi, Chief Minister of Gaya State U El Pangshu, Union Levy and State Levy officials, leaders of Gaya Ethnics, Gaya Ethnic Nationals and other Union citizens attended the ceremony. President of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, Wu Wimnyi, sent the message of greetings to welcome the 68th anniversary of Gaya State Day, and Chief Minister Wu El Pangshu read it at the ceremony. In order to achieve sustainable peace, which has been aspiration for many years, to solve political problems through political means and to establish the Democratic Federal Union acceptable to all ethnic national brothers and sisters, we have been convening the Union Peace Conference known as the 21st Century Pinglong Sessions and Peace Talks. As a result, we have already accomplished the 51 points of common agreement. I strongly believe that we will achieve a total success in building the Democratic Federal Union by overcoming all the obstacles and difficulties if all ethnic nationals within Gia State, as well as all union nationals, strive together with the union government. If we all strive hard through genuine union spirit in the not too distant future, we will be able to build a peaceful, modern and developed democratic federal union free from armed conflicts all across the country. By firmly holding on to the good foundations of the peace and development already achieved, I urge all ethnic nationals to work in unity for the establishment of the democratic federal union, which we have all yearned for so many years. The capital of Gaya State, Luigo, is awarded the ASEAN Clean City Award. So the president also motivated the residents living in Gaya State to keep up the effort to build Gaya State as a model state with developed tourism, investments, and trade. Why we want to establish democratic federal union is to fully protect the rights of the citizens. In democratic systems, everyone has their responsibility to protect the individual rights as well as the country's rights. I want all the union citizens to notice that there is not only authority but also responsibility. 
We want to establish a democratic country to protect the rights the citizens deserve for the citizens to be responsible and to have the ability to take responsibility. Why it is important to be the federal union is that our country is composed of different national races. So for the sustainability, development and to achieve peace within the country, the unity of the ethnics is important. Then equality among the segments of the union is also vital. Union is the beautiful world defining the country established in unity. We have to keep forward step by step to change the differences as the strength to build a developed country in unity. She also focused on how important it is to achieve peace for enhancing the ability of young generation who are to be the leaders in future. Then she urged the nationals living within Kaya state to make the state as a part of sport in establishing the Democratic Federal Union. The ceremony for the 68th anniversary of Kaya State Day was ended with the performance of Kaya ethnic nationals. The first Kaya State Day was celebrated in 15 January of 1952. Nine Kaya ethnic groups, together with other races, have been living in union for many years in Kaya State. This is Dora Swissen reporting from MI Radio. That's a report on the 68th anniversary of Kaya State Day. And here's the last report on the introduction of rotavirus vaccine and pantafort dosage. Rotorix vaccine, which is indicated for the prevention of rotavirus and pentavalent vaccine, is a combo vaccine of five individual vaccines conjugated into one. Intended to actively protect people from multiple diseases, it will be given starting from the 1st of February. 6-12% to 12 of children under 5 years old are suffering from diarrhea every year. The Rotorix is added into regular vaccination plan to reduce the number of children who suffer from diarrhea. So Yadana and Pomo will tell us more. In the regular vaccination plan of Ministry of Health and Sports, the Rotorix vaccine, which is indicated for the prevention of rotavirus, and pentavalent vaccine, which is a combination vaccine of five individual vaccines conjugated into one, intended to actively protect people from multiple diseases, will be injected starting from 1st February of 2020. In Southeast Asian countries, infants under one year old is suffering from extreme diarrhea cases and among them, between 35% to 60% are because of rotavirus. In Myanmar, 6 to 12% of children under 5 years old are suffering from diarrhea every year, so the Rotorix is added into regular vaccination plan to reduce the amount of children who suffers from diarrhea and an addiction of mentafor to diphtheria effectively. Dr. Tatun Jo, Director General of Ministry of Health and Sports, said how the vaccination is planned and who will get the services. To reduce the diarrhea, the rotavirus vaccine will be given to the two months old infants for the first time and then as for the second time when they become four months old infants. Because the percentages of infants suffer from rotavirus is high to the infants which is under one year old. The estimated infant who is given vaccination will be around 100,000 and as a routine, there will be monthly regular vaccination services in every clinics, hospitals of urban and rural areas. So we estimate to serve millions of infants. In the developed countries, the Rotorix can prevent diarrhea from 80% to 90% and in developing countries, it can prevent from 40% to 60%. Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, gives support to the addiction of rotavirus into nation's regular vaccination plan together with World Health Organization, WHO, and UNICEF. 
Gavi's one of the main objectives is to continue building sustainable programs to save children's lives and protect people's health by increasing equitable use of vaccines in developing countries. So Gavi supports the developing countries by reducing the prices to two dollars per dose, although the rotavirus vaccines cost for between one hundred and eighty-four dollars and one hundred and ninety-two dollars in the developed countries like United. States of America. Dr. Sawin, member of National Immunization Technical Advisory Groups NITAGs, explained the effects on the children who received the Pentafor vaccine. When they are in the hospital, they are in the hospital. There will be no negative effect on children. Who will receive Pfizer vaccine? As they are qualifying products assumed by World Health Organization (WHO), children will get heart one. They are injected and will experience sickness for only a little bit. Back for the early check by receiving Pfizer vaccine, children will be automatically prevented from heart disease, especially from diphtheria. And tenant, so this time is the fourth time, and、um, on the upcoming 2023 and 2027, there will be the fifth and sixth doses for Pfizer. According to the nation's regular vaccination plan, only the children who are under two year old will receive the services. And we are planning ahead to increase the required ages to five year old to ten year old. Starting from first February, only the infants whose birth dates are starting from first December of 2019 can be taken Rotavirus. But the valent vaccine that includes protection for diphtheria and tetanus will also be given to the 18 months old children as a fourth time vaccination, and for only those who have already received the third vaccination. That's all the reports on Myanmar today. Amid the tensions that's going on in the world, it's time to take a turn to some international news and find out what's happening around the world. Chinese Vice Premier Liu He said on Wednesday that the Phase One economic trade deal between China and the United States is beneficial not only for both countries but also for the whole world. Addressing a ceremony for the formal signing of the landmark agreement in the East Room at the White House. Liu said, "China and the United States, the world's two largest economies and two major players in international affairs, with great responsibilities, reached the Phase One deal." Quote, with the big picture in mind and through quote, acknowledging and properly managing their differences, he added that the deal is not in conflict with the legitimate rights and interests of any third party, and is also in accordance with World Trade Organization rules. Liu says China will purchase 40 billion U.S. dollars in U.S. products annually if the market remains strong. Thank you very much. Please. Today we take a momentous step, one that has never been taken before with China. Toward a future of fair and reciprocal trade, as we sign Phase One of the historic trade deal between the United States and China. Xi Jinping 主席治理搞好，没有一条理由把中美关系搞搞好，没有一条理由把中美关系搞坏。我们必须求同存异，找到一条合作共赢的道路。这对中国。对美国、对全世界都具有十分重要的意义。In other news, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi signed the two articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump to send the Senate late Wednesday afternoon. The charges were carried in procession across the U.S. Capitol by lawmakers prosecuting the case. 
moving the impeachment out of Speaker Pelosi's Democratic-run House to the Republican Majority Senate, where the president's team is mounting a defense aiming for swift acquittal. It is only the third such trial in American history. Of Donald John Trump, President of the United States. The message will be received. But at the hour. A resolution appointing and authorizing managers for the impeachment trial of Donald John Trump, President of the United States. The message will be received. But at the hour of 2 p.m. on Thursday, January 16, 2020, the Senate proceed to the consideration of the articles of impeachment and that the presiding officer, through the Secretary of the Senate, notify the Chief Justice of the United States of the time and place fixed for consideration of the articles and request his attendance as presiding officer pursuant to Article 1, Section 3, Clause 6 of the U.S. Constitution. Well, that's a wrap, and thanks for joining me on Myanmar Today. I'm Henry Zinn. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye now.